10-6 trigonometry ratios. Sine, cosine, and tangent are the three trig ratios we're going to be using. Sine, we abbreviate SIN. The angle A is equal to and the opposite over the hypotenuse. We are talking about right triangles here that look like this if we have our sine of A, the opposite side of A is this side CB. The hypotenuse is always opposite your right angle. And the adjacent side is the one that it's touching besides the hypotenuse. If you stood at angle A and touched each side, you would touch AC and AB. So AC would be my adjacent side to angle A. Cosine, we abbreviate COS of angle A, is your adjacent over hypotenuse. So your adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tangent is always abbreviate TAN. A, opposite over adjacent. So we would use side CB's length over AB's length. One way to remember this is by using SOKATOA. Sine is your opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent opposite over adjacent. So how we're going to use this right now for triangle ABC, find the value of each expression. If they're saying the sine of A is equal to, we go to A, the sine was our opposite over the hypotenuse, so my opposite side is 35. My hypotenuse is always, again, opposite that right angle, it's 37. And we're writing down our fraction. If your fraction can simplify, then make sure you simplify that fraction. Cosine of A, cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we go to A, the adjacent side is 12. And again, the hypotenuse is 37. Tangent of A, tangent was opposite over the adjacent, TOA. So my opposite was 35, my adjacent was 12. We can do the same thing if we look at our angle B. Sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, so 12 over 37. Cosine is 35 over 37 because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent opposite over adjacent, 12 over 35. And if you look at your numbers, the sine of A is the same number as cosine of B. Cosine of A is the same as sine of B. Tangent are the inverse of each other. If we are looking to find the actual value of each angle degrees, find the value of each expression, round to the nearest ten thousandths. Sine of 42 degrees, we could use a trig table where we go down to 42 degrees, go over to sine, and it is 0.6691. If you have a scientific calculator, though, we can use it to find the sine of 42 degrees. First thing you want to do is always check your mode. Make sure you are not in radians, because a lot of my students right now are using radians, so go over to degrees, enter, and then we can exit back out of that second mode. And we want sine of 42, so down here across Above all our numbers are sine, cosine, and tangent. So we go sine 42, enter. And it gives me the same exact number, 0.66913, 10 thousandths. So we go tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and we have the 0.6691.
If we want cosine of 87, I can go down to 87, go across to cosine, 0 0.0523. Or again with a calculator, cosine 87, enter, 0 0.023. And again, always look to the right to the hundred thousandths place. If it's five or above, you round up. If it's not, you drop off. As you notice here, I'm not bothering in putting cosine 87 in the other parentheses because it will give me exactly the same number every time. So I don't need to put that in. If it's in an equation where we have more to do, you might need to put that parenthesis in there. 10 of 55, if you're using the table, go down to 55 and across to tangent, 1.4281. Using the graphing calculator, 10 55, 1.4281 again. So it depends on which method you're using. If you don't have the scientific calculator, make sure you pull up the chart that's attached in this section. Otherwise, just using use your scientific calculator and you'll have your numbers instantly.